How do you solve that problem? I have been asking myself this for years now. How does one just be creative? Like, how can one be creative? You need to make time to be creative. You need to just create a mindset around the process of creativity. So you actually take this as a priority. I don't know how long it has been since my last video. I think about maybe two or three years. So I wanted to use this opportunity and just, uh, you know, get into a few things, just really talk about some creativity um, issues I had, but also maybe something that actually helps you as well. Creativity is a mindset. I, I think I realized that quite late and I'm still in the process of actually realizing it, what that kind of means um, and trying to understand that. Since there is a lot out there that, you know, demands your attention, that demands um, your availability, that you always need to be active um, responsive or reading the news or watching the news or being entertained like you are doing a lot of things um, and then it's really uh, hard to be creative and once you create you know this mindset and that it that it's actually something you need in your life that makes you happy it starts to become this very um, natural process that you just you know take time aside to you know, be creative. Unclutter. I think we, as humans, we tend to be either very organized or very chaotic. And I would say about myself, I'm kind of both. <laughs> as a personal, like as a, like kind of, like my personality, I would say is on the um, chaotic side. It's, it's a bit like all over the place. But then also on the, um, you know, when it comes to like kind of my tasks and what I want to do and what I have to do, then I tend to be quite organized. So like when I talk about on clutter, then I mean um, just get rid of things that, that like occupies your brain uh, capacity. Like if there is something that is really on your mind and you, like you realize that it's kind of like eating you alive, you need to get rid of that first. To be able to actually create headspace where you now can be, you know, more creative again. Like what's on your plate and how can you kind of like decide now what you need to do first in order to just make things a bit more easier um, when you like kind of get into the things you actually want to do. Um, and finally, just to kind of give you an example, I had a huge mess on my, on my uh, SSD um, with like a tons of files. Like it's, it has been a, like a huge pain now for months. And I was always like, yeah, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow. And I was just like, kind of like, you know, postponing all, over and over again. Um, and what happened there is like, it just also kind of crippled my creativity. It crippled my um, or, or it just limited it. It was just like kind of, okay, I just really need to get this done first before I actually want to do anything else. So months actually passed to, you know, do something creative for myself because I knew there is like a huge pile of, you know, storage management I need to kind of take care of. Um, so yeah, that hindered me to just like uh, actually create more um, so I did that and what happened was I, I immediately felt like relieved I was like whoa okay now I actually like I know this is out of my system and now I can just really go for what I wanted to do anyway and the good thing is I know now where my things my, my things are which actually should be the case for anyone out there especially if you are into filmmaking and photography and all that it can be a huge mess very quickly so I think just get rid of things where you realize they actually kind of like just limit you. Just unclutter whatever you can and then you automatically feel like more inspired and more like free to do uh, things. Learn new things. 
I think it's easy to get like kind of distracted. We all enjoy a good movie. We all kind of like to hang around and just like kind of do nothing from time to time. And I think that's needed and that's something we need to do as well because otherwise you will just have like this ongoing uh, activities without any kind of like reflection where you can actually like process what's what's been happening like sometimes I do not really understand the people who are always busy and active because you also want to like kind of reflect on what you what you have done otherwise it's just always like kind of occupying yourself and, and being in this loop of just doing more and more and more until you finally just burn out and then well you just have to chill anyway so learning new things is a good way to boost creativity, in my opinion. I think it helped me a lot to just kind of like, you know, just when I read about things, um, then I realize how my brain just starts to kind of process that information. And from there, it also kind of needs, like it, it wants to find some kind of link to another information in my brain um, where it can maybe create something with that information, which is very fascinating. I also recently switched from Premiere Pro, like Adobe Premiere Pro, to DaVinci Resolve. Best decision I've ever made. No, I'm not sponsored, or it's not sponsored by them. Um, but that has been like something I wanted to do for a very long time. Since, you know, I think a lot of people know that struggle from like, like when it comes to Premiere Pro, that when you're working with a Mac uh, system, it can be very frustrating sometimes to actually just edit simple things. Uh, it's crashing, it's just not working. So long story short, I kind of decided to just make the move uh, to, to DaVinci Resolve. And through that process, I also started to realize how creativity comes back again, because now that program was also kind of like hindering me to, to do more things. Because that, that, you know, experience I had with like Premiere Pro was just so frustrating. So I didn't even want to like open up that program anymore. So for me, it was just like, okay, I'm just done being creative because why would I want to be creative when there is always like trouble waiting for me, uh, which shouldn't be there like in the first place, because, you know, um, those are professional softwares and by now they should actually work. But anyway, Decided to make the switch to DaVinci Resolve. It's working perfectly fine for what I'm doing right now and it's making my life so much easier. And I am happy to sit down and edit now. So unclutter and also learn new things. Just do it. Um, I think that's a very, like that, that statement, that slogan coming from Nike um, is so underrated. And I have seen it with me I have seen it with a lot of people around me. Once you get going, creativity comes back. Like it actually comes back. It's actually there. It's, it's not gone anywhere. It's just not accessible because you didn't allow things to happen because you didn't do anything. <laughs> but if you, if you start to actually um, do things, then things fall into place and you you know, you, you start to kind of like not overthink the process, but you also start to kind of like just, um, you know, connect with more people again and also just kind of things accelerate how things maybe should happen or can happen um, for you. Because when you're just like, you know, hoping that, that something is going to change, then nothing is going to change because why would it? Um, because you obviously don't allow things to change so just do it just do it if you have an idea do it what what's i mean what's the harm what's the worst like the worst thing that can happen is that you don't like it cool so you learn from it which we just had learn new things and you just improve and you optimize and you're like cool that's why i don't like it so that's what i'm going to do differently next time perfect like you're moving forward when you're around people who are also creative, you start to become more creative again. Because you automatically, you, you don't want to be that person in the room who is just sitting around doing nothing. If you see the other person just like running around, doing things, being busy, being productive for themselves, then 
you start to be like, hey, I actually want to do something too, because I don't want to just be sitting around and just do nothing. And like, how is how can that be good for me? <laughs> so you start to like kind of just, um, you know, kind of sink to that energy, basically. And you're like, okay, cool, something is happening. So I'm just going to sink to that energy. And now you kind of just flowing and you start to create. You start to do something. You start to create together. Um, ideas come together and a lot of things can actually happen together. Um, being creative is usually, or in most cases, not, not always, but in, in most cases, something you want to do with, you know, uh, other people. Um, and when you have someone that is also creative in your surroundings, perfect. You have the best setting um, to actually create cool, cool shit. <laughs> Just be creative together. Start sharing your work and, and grow from there. I think this is the one thing I struggled the most with, to put myself out there, to not be afraid of actually people's judgment, um, which is silly because literally, who cares? Like, if people like your stuff, well, they're gonna stick around. If they don't, well, then they just not, they don't have to. And if they actually hating on your stuff, well, then you're just really happy that you don't need to deal with them anymore. I would say this is something I also still learning. I'm just pushing out stuff. That is something that really helps to just kind of also network and find other cool people to, to do things with. Um, because only if you share work, you can actually kind of resonate with other people in, in, in your field. And, you know, if you do not do that, then nobody will ever find you. And nobody will ever be interested in working with you creative, like creatively, because why would they? Because there's literally nothing they see from you in that area. So yeah, just share your work. If you're creative and you're not doing that, well, I think then you're just missing out on a lot of opportunities. I, I really hope that is kind of like, you know, that this video kind of helped you to just kind of like reflect on yourself and how you maybe, um, you know, go on with, with certain things that, you know, challenge you in terms of creativity. I hope to see you around. I hope you leave a subscription uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, yeah, this video. And thanks for, thanks for watching. See you next time.